Hi, and welcome back to Comics History Guys comic book review. Today we're going to take a look at DC Comics' new title. It's a reboot of an old title, but we'll call it new. Uh, the new Suicide Squad, which is part of the New 52. I'm not a huge fan of New 52, but hey, it's what we got now. So, on the cover here, we have Joker's daughter, Harley Quinn, Black Manta, Deathstroke, Deadshot, and Amanda Waller, if you don't know her. And, um, We'll see. We'll talk about it later. But the cover's cool, but it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the story. Bothers me a great deal. Um, the art, by the way, is pretty good in this book. So um, let's get to uh, the splash page here. Sean Ryan's the writer. Jeremy Roberts' art. Blonde did the colors. And so on. Art's pretty good. I'm happy with it. So let's take a look. Suicide Squad, if you're not familiar, is an old storyline kind of... Uh, the government uh, uses villains from Bell Reef Prison to uh, go and do the dirty jobs that cannot be publicly accomplished and things that the heroes cannot be sent to do. So they basically blackmail the villains with bombs um, surgically attached inside their necks to make them do what they want. Supposedly this is also kind of an excuse as to how all these villains who get captured all the time end up on the streets again doing bad stuff, but that's, you know, Neither here nor, nor there. So, uh, Suicide Squad, which kind of flipped through quickly. We have um, Deathstroke, Black Manta, Harley, Joker's daughter in Russia doing things. Um, Deadshot. That's a pretty good scene, by the way. So this is uh, kind of like uh, in the middle of what they're doing here. So this is three months earlier, setting up of the team with uh, government types. Uh, Mr. Sage is uh, a real creep. You're not going to like him. But we go through and he's talking about uh, the recruits for this little team. Um, Manda Waller. Really, are there are no good guys in this. The art is pretty good. Now, Harley Quinn. I like Harley Quinn. Um, I kind of like her new look too, but uh, and they kind of mentioned the whole redundancy of having Harley Quinn and Joker's daughter on the same team, and obviously Harley wants to kill Joker's daughter for obvious reasons, um, but she's convinced not to do it right now. And so we have Black Manta, who seems to be the de facto leader, uh, and then we have the re redundancy of two assassin two assassins here. Excuse me. Um, Deadshot and Deathstroke. Deathstroke, by the way, is the model for Marvel's Deadpool. We'll look at that later. So, um, the art is pretty good. You can tell from the faces what's kind of going on. That guy's not happy, a little bit shocked. And then Harley's about to go to town. So, it has something to do with Russia. The, the backstory is really not that important. They're really going into the action. The villains doing what they do villainously. And this is really an introductory piece. Again, this is, remember, this is a number one comic book. So they're introducing things. Not a whole lot of plot development or character development. The whole conflict between Harley and Joker's daughter should be a centerpiece of this series, at least in the early issues. Um, we'll see what happens there. So they go to town. And, of course, these are villains. They are killing people. Um, whoops, sorry. And with prejudice. Of forethought. So here we go, whacking people left and right while the big shots in Washington, D.C. are kind of arguing about this, that, and the other thing, but not about the morality of what's the basic morality here. So, again, the art, the action, the combat, pretty good. Uh, now, again, I don't know if they'll get into the morality of all this, but they're attacking a uh, Russian government building that's responsible for all kinds of Russian dirty tricks, blah, blah, re, you know, think of Ukraine, Crimea. But here, you know, looks like it's probably a secretary about to be killed by Joker's daughter and Black Manta. What did she do wrong? So, again, uh, probably, pretty much an amoral comic book. Bad things happening. And then, oh crap, someone's coming to, like, do bad things to the Suicide Squad. So I was first... Uh, 
I noticed this as DC has um, several page um, previews or pro prologues in other comics of upcoming issues. So I thought, hmm, that looks interesting. The, frankly, the Harley Joker's daughter uh, dynamic is what interested me the most. Uh, the other characters I don't care too much about, though I've always liked Black Manta. Um, we'll see what happens. Number two might be interesting. Uh, we'll see. Again, nothing in this uh, cover relates to what's going on in the book. Uh, Harley's not chained up. Uh, Waller's not chained up. Deadshot's not chained up. Though I must say he looks like Deathlock there. So it's kind of confusing. Overall, I mean, it, it's, it's okay. The storyline is eh. The art is good. We'll see what happens. Uh, number two might have more depth. If it doesn't, we probably won't continue onward. Though I do want to see Harley beat up Joker's daughter. All right, that's it for this comic book review. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.